Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmake. In our last video, we made the tank flip left or right depending on the direction it's moving. So just a quick reminder, um, the end result of all these tutorials will be something like this, where you can move the character left and right with animations, you can aim the cannon up and down, you can also fire the bullets in the direction of the cannon, you can also jump, and finally, when the bullet comes in contact with the ground, it explodes. The animation was created by another member of the team. Today's video is going to be slightly different, as I'll be showing you three different kinds of jumps, and then within the next three videos, we're going to create each one. So the first jump is the infinite jump, uh, which is what you see in games like uh, Flappy Birds. The second jump is the standard jump, where you only jump once. And finally, the last jump I'm going to show you is the double jump where you can jump twice. So for today's video we're going to be creating the infinite jump. The difficulty of today's video is the fluffy difficulty so it won't be that hard to do. Also the assets that we're going to be using in today's video will be available to download for free. The link will be in the description below. So what I'm going to do I'm going to go into the scripts folder and I'm going to create a new script. So Right click, create, C sharp script, and I'm going to call this one player underscore jump. So I'm going to open that up. Just going to get rid of all this, so uh, we don't really need it. Um, so to create the infinite jump, what we need is three things. Our, our jump force, which is going to be a public float. So public float. And um, we're going to call this jump force. And that's going to equal 300.0f and semicolon. Right, so we created our jump force. The next thing we need is our input button. So in order to create the uh, input button, we need to access the fixed update function. So void fixed update. Uh, brackets, curly brackets, and that's it. So the input we're going to create is going to be a boolean instead of a float. So bool, I'm, I'm going to call this jump, and that's going to equal input. And instead of using get access, we're going to be using get button down. Brackets, quotations, and the button we're going to be using is jump. So the reason I've set, made it a bool instead of a float is because with with our player move script we're using two buttons, left and right or A or D. But the jump button is only going to be one button and we want to check if it's been pressed or not. And the last thing we've got to create is what happens when we press the jump button. And that's going to be in an if statement, so if brackets. And inside the brackets, we're going to type jump. And what we want to do, we want to access the rigid body. So get component, uh, greater than and less than symbols. And inside that, we're going to write rigid body 2D, brackets, dot. And instead of using dot velocity, we're going to be using dot add force. And we want to add this force to the y-axis, so we're going to create brackets, and we're going to type vector free dot up, and we want to times that by our jump force that we created, and then the semicolon. So if our jump button is pressed, we want to access the rigid body. And then we want to add force to the y direction. And the force we want to add to the y direction is going to be jump force, which is set to 300. And that's pretty much it for the uh, infinite jump. So if we save that and go back to Unity, all we've got to do now is add the player jump script to the tank. So I'm going to click and drag that onto the tank. And there we go. So, if we run the game, we now have an infinite jump. 
so that's it for today's video feel free to tune back here next time where we'll be doing the second jump which is the standard single jump if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on unity 3d my name is joshua mutu and thanks for watching